What I got here is the Trek Transport. It's a cargo bike. First one from Trek, the uh, the Gary Fisher collection. And um, I went to France to to check out a bunch of um, of their new full suspension, Remedy, Scratch, whatnot. And it was awesome. Uh, don't get me wrong. But the bike that I was most curious about was this one. When I saw this, I said, oh my god. I want one. I want to try it. So they have the Trek Transport, $1,300. Um, and the Trek Transport Plus, which is $2,600. But the Trek Tra Transport Plus has a motor. has a Bionics motor included with it. So um, that one's not out yet. Maybe till January. But uh, this one, uh, I got to try in Vegas, and I got to try it here. I haven't been this excited about a bike in a long time. Uh, part, of, part of it is it's just a, it's a revolution. It's a, it's a lifestyle change. This is what you call a car replacement bike. What the, the objective here is to, to use your car less, just bike more. So maybe you can bike to work and whatnot, but first and foremost, um, bike to the grocery shop, bike to the errands, bike to the park. And... Uh, this is this is what this is what uh, this is what it's for. Carry carry some stuff. Carry the kids. Carry your dog. This is what it's for. Okay. So what do we got here? Thirty for thirteen hundred bucks. What you get is a full aluminum frame. Um, nice carrying case here. This has a folding uh, um, folding tray here for luggage, and it's it's here. I'll show you in a minute. And in a bag, one side. One side bag. You can get another bag um, as an option, but they figured, hey, this is a big bag. People won't really need um, two off the bat, so we'll we'll keep the price down and keep that as an option. So what you got here is the rack of the uh, of the Trek Transport, the the, the side rack, and uh, this is this stays in here with a pin. So when you want to use it, put it down like this, and put a couple pony kegs right here, strap it back. And the other thing you can do is uh, it comes with one bag, pretty big volume bag. Put a couple dogs in here. And you just um, latch it on like that. You're ready to go. So the weight is uh, supported by this and, uh, and that under tray supports it too. So the fact that they went with aluminum meant that it, it stayed relatively light. And they were able to make some huge material here. Make this thing stiff. Look at that. Has a capacity of 200 pounds. Back here. 50, 50, 100. Um, and what's cool when you get a bike that's designed for it is you know the thing's strong enough. And you know the thing's gonna ride well. You know, I, I, if you put an extra cycle or some other add-on on a bike that's not designed for it, it's going to be noodly. You know, wait till you corner on that on full speed or wait, wait till you take it out on the trail. It's not, not going to not gonna be that good. Um, they also made this super low. One thing I'm trying to get used to is you could have luggage here and whatnot. So you don't want to do this like traditional style. You actually want to enter the bike from here. And that's why they, they put that low. I go, oh, that's kind of nice of them. So the saddle is awesome. It's uh, one of the new Bontrager body geometry saddles, where it's wide. It's got a, it's got a little offset here. It looks like a high-end saddle. Um, they have a, a bar that's uh, like a mustache bar, uh, more than a 20-degree bend, and they have these ergo grips um, that uh, reduce the stress on your uh, nerves, your ulnar nerve. Some jazz about that. Um, front breaker's disc and rear brake is uh, V brake. I think they saved a little bit of money there. Uh, I'll probably upgrade it, but I, I, I tried it today. And it's awesome. It works good. I think the key with brakes is that they have a similar feel, front and rear. You know, um, and um, as long as they attain that, uh, most of your power anyway. Uh, I think 60, 70 percent of your power is on the front, so it works works well for now. Little tray here. So, what do I think about it? Oh, a kickstand. Look at this kickstand. It's a, um, it's a dual side. Super cool, aluminum. What's cool about it is um, you can actually work on it while it's up there. You know, I was tuning my brakes and whatnot, because it's not that easy to put this up on a bike stand. Um, two, by, two by eight 
And I love that. Uh, they didn't go three gears here. I think it's a 2838, which is awesome. You know, that, that requires thought, actually. And you have a little um, chain guard here um, to, to actually think that, hey, they don't, people don't need 3x8, three by, three by that huge chain ring that will just cut them and whatnot. So anyway, the um, written it a couple times, some in Vegas, some in here, some here. And this thing is so responsive. It's ridiculous. Um, it's so entertaining to ride it. It just puts a smile on my face. One of the things that makes it really good is they, um, they made the bottom bracket uh, super low, 11.4 uh, inches from the ground, which, is, um, which just puts your center of gravity so much lower. A nor their normal hardtails are, are 12 inches from the ground. Um, and a full suspension is 13 inches, 29 hours even higher. So 11.4, you can really feel it. You can just, you know, cruise around on the street and carve that thing. Uh, as, as one of the consequences, though, is they ha I think they made the crank shorter. I think it's a 165. So when, when the hill got super steep, I started cranking on it. It didn't feel quite right, like I had the leverage. It's because of the short, uh, short cranks. But um, so far, so impressed, 1300 bucks, and it's a complete system. You know, you got nothing to worry about anymore. Um, and there, you know, you don't have to think about compatibilities and whatnot. It's just done. It's just time to start upgrading it. And I'm upgrading it with a lupine headlamp here, a little denote, little light in motion tail light. Um, but me and my wife are now, now have a pledge. We're just going to use it more and more uh, every day. Grocery, uh, baseball park, whatever. Um, Hopefully we can get rid of get rid of one of those uh, one of those cars in the garage.